China just witnessed something the world thought impossible. A car that never needs charging, quietly arriving on its soil. No engine noise. No charging cables. Just silent, limitless power. And the reaction? Global shock. Is this the dawn of a new world order in transportation? Cut to fast clips. Tesla cars charging, Chinese crowd staring at a mysterious sleek car glowing faintly, Maxwell stepping out in silence. The silent arrival. It wasn't announced with fireworks, press releases, or grand speeches. Instead, Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered car appeared silently in China. Parked among rows of Teslas and BYDs, it stood out, not because of size, but because of what it represented, a car with no charging port. A car that defies everything we know about energy consumption. And it arrived in the world's largest electric vehicle market. Why China? China is no ordinary stage. It dominates global EV production and consumption, with giants like BYD, NIO, and Tesla's Gigafactories pushing millions of cars each year. So, why would Maxwell's invention surface here first? Some say it's strategic. Others believe China is quietly testing what the West refuses to acknowledge— that a disruptive African invention could leapfrog the very foundations of the EV industry. Silent power, global shock. The whisper spread quickly. American analysts watching from afar called it a silent power move. European markets reacted with unease. And in China itself, the reaction was divided. Excitement from the people, concern from industry leaders. Because if this car works exactly as claimed, the trillion-dollar EV infrastructure chargers, batteries, and even oil could all become obsolete overnight. Reactions on the ground. On Chinese social media, hashtags exploded. The car that powers itself, silent energy, Africa's Tesla. Crowds gathered, not to hear the engine roar, but to witness the silence. One driver whispered, if this is real, why would I ever need to buy a Tesla again? Another compared it to China's bullet trains. Once we tasted speed, there was no going back. Now, once we taste freedom from charging, there's no return. What this means for Tesla. Elon Musk has long warned that innovation often comes from where you least expect it. But could Maxwell's car really shake Tesla's empire? In America, the question is already being asked. In Europe, governments are quietly monitoring. And in China, the message is clear. A silent African invention has just entered their playground and it could change the rules forever, behind closed doors. While the public marveled at the car's quiet arrival, something far more secret was unfolding behind closed doors. Chinese engineers were given limited access to study Maxwell's invention. What they saw stunned them. No conventional battery pack, no charging mechanism, only a mysterious compact energy unit that seemed to power the entire vehicle endlessly. The data that shocked experts. The first test was simple. Let the car run. Hours passed. Then days. Still no charging. Still no fuel. Just continuous, silent motion. One insider leaked that the vehicle logged nearly 2,000 kilometers in China's urban and rural routes without stopping to recharge. In a nation obsessed with efficiency, this was more than innovation. It was disruption. America watches nervously. News of China's private testing sent shockwaves across the Pacific. In Washington, whispers of energy independence and national security risks began circulating. Could America afford to let China gain early access to a technology that could crush not just Tesla, but the entire oil economy? Suddenly, Maxwell's car wasn't just an invention. It was a geopolitical weapon. China's silent strategy. China remained quiet. No official statements. No flashy announcements. Just silent observation, data collection, and calculated moves. The world knew what this meant. Beijing was playing a long game. Every kilometer Maxwell's car drove was a step closer to a future where China could dominate not only electric vehicles, but the very energy that powers them. Maxwell's next move. But here's the twist no one saw coming. Maxwell himself remained silent. No press tours. No interviews. No explanations. It was as though he knew the world would talk for him. His silence became his strategy, and the silence of his invention became the loudest threat Tesla and the global auto industry had ever faced. The reverse engineering race. 
Behind locked doors in Beijing, whispers turn into action. Maxwell's car was not just being tested anymore. It was being studied piece by piece. Chinese engineers, masters of reverse engineering, attempted to decode the mysterious energy unit. Unlike batteries, there were no cells. Unlike hydrogen fuel, no tanks. What they found was unexplainable. A device generating continuous power without an obvious source. The limits of science. The scientists reported something shocking. Maxwell's power unit didn't align with known physics. It wasn't solar, nuclear, or magnetic in any conventional sense. Theories exploded. Some suggested exotic energy fields. Others whispered about suppressed technologies long hidden from the public eye. But one fact remained: the car worked flawlessly. America's urgent response. Meanwhile, in Washington, alarm bells rang louder. Secret memos circulated between government agencies, warning that if China cracked the mystery first, it could tilt the balance of global power forever. Tesla executives were briefed. Defense officials called emergency sessions, and whispers of covert attempts to bring Maxwell and his car back under American influence began to surface. China plays its hand, yet China made no announcement, no victory claim. Instead, it tightened the veil of secrecy. To the outside world, it appeared as if nothing had changed. But those on the inside knew China was already preparing to industrialize what had seen. Factories, design teams, and strategists began sketching the impossible—a Chinese self-powered car for the global market. Maxwell's silence breaks, and just as the world speculated on China's next move, Maxwell himself appeared briefly in an encrypted live stream. His words were few, but they sent shock waves. The technology is not China's to own; it belongs to humanity. But those who misuse it will regret it. Then the screen went black. The world was left in stunned silence. A technology too powerful? Maxwell's words, "Misuse will bring regret," were not taken lightly. Across global intelligence agencies, the car was no longer seen as a vehicle. It was seen as something far more dangerous, a power source that could fuel not only homes and cities. But also weapons, the Pentagon's dilemma. In Washington, a chilling scenario emerged: What if this technology could power military drones indefinitely? What if submarines never needed refueling? What if satellites could run forever, outlasting all rivals? Suddenly, the self-powered car wasn't just an automotive revolution; it was a potential strategic weapon, one that America could not afford to let China control. China's calculated silence. Yet, as fear spread, China remained quiet. No leaks, no declarations, just more testing, more silence. For a nation used to projecting its power, this silence was unsettling and strategic. It was as if Beijing wanted the world to imagine what they might be doing with the technology without revealing what they truly knew. Maxwell's hidden network. But while nations schemed, Maxwell was not idle. Rumors spread that he had quietly built a network of trusted allies across Africa, Europe, and even within Asia, individuals safeguarding pieces of his research. This was not just an invention; it was a movement. And Maxwell, always a step ahead, seemed determined to keep his creation out of the wrong hands. A world on edge. As tensions rose, media outlets fanned the flames. Headlines screamed of a global energy coal war. Experts debated whether Maxwell's car could spark the greatest technological race since the nuclear age. For the first time, the question was no longer about Tesla or even China. It was bigger. Could humanity be trusted with a technology this disruptive? The announcement no one expected. Then it happened. After weeks of silence, China made a sudden announcement: a live demonstration of Maxwell's self-powered car, broadcast globally. The world froze. This wasn't just a test; this was a declaration, the global stage. On the day of the reveal, millions tuned in. World leaders watched from secure rooms. Elon Musk was said to be in a private viewing chamber. Social media exploded. Hashtags like #SilentCar and #TeslaOver trended worldwide. China's stage was set: a massive arena, floodlights blazing, with Maxwell's car at the center, silent. Motionless, waiting, the impossible drive. When the car began to move, it wasn't just a drive; 
It was a spectacle. The vehicle circled the arena, then kept going. One hour, two hours, twelve, never slowing, never charging, just endless motion under the watchful eyes of the world. Crowds roared. Some cheered in awe. Others whispered in fear. And experts who had long doubted Maxwell's claim suddenly had no choice but to believe. America's shockwave. In the U.S., the reaction was immediate. Tesla stock dropped by billions within hours. Politicians demanded answers. Military officials feared what they were watching wasn't just a car, but a new kind of power unveiled live before the entire world. Maxwell's shadow. But here's what shocked everyone most. Maxwell himself was not in Beijing. He wasn't on stage. He wasn't interviewed. Instead, his face appeared only briefly on a massive screen. His words echoed through the arena. This is only the beginning. And then, as suddenly as he appeared, he vanished. The global race begins. The public demonstration in China set off a chain reaction. Every major power scrambled to act. Spies hunted for blueprints. Factories raced to replicate the design. Tesla poured billions into secret labs, desperate to catch up. But while the world chased shadows, Maxwell remained one step ahead. Maxwell's final move. Then, without warning, Maxwell resurfaced. This time not in China, not in America, but in Africa, the birthplace of his invention, from a remote facility. He unveiled something even more shocking, a network of self-powered vehicles, homes, and even drones, all running without fuel, without charging, without limits. His message was clear. This technology belongs to humanity. No one nation, no one company, no one empire can own it. A world transformed. And just like that, the narrative shifted. The self-powered car was no longer a threat to Tesla or a weapon for governments. It became a symbol of something larger, a world freed from the chains of fuel, charging stations, and monopolies. From China to America, Africa to Europe, people began to imagine a future where energy was infinite, accessible, and free. Tesla's reckoning. Elon Musk's empire faced its hardest test yet. But even Tesla, once the face of electric revolution, realized that the rules had changed. Compete, adapt, or be left behind. For the first time in decades, Tesla was no longer the disruptor. It was the one being disrupted. The silent legacy. In the end, Maxwell's greatest weapon was not his car, nor his energy unit. It was his silence. While nations fought, while corporations panicked, he moved quietly, leaving the world chasing echoes. And when the dust settled, his invention had done what few thought possible. It rewrote the rules of power, of energy, of history itself. The self-powered car was more than just a machine. It was a revolution, born in silence, revealed in shock, and destined to change the world forever.